I want to start by sort of reiterating what I've said all along. Article 9 is the finishing, the end product, the last of our underground utilities. We've replaced the sewer. We're going to continue to in the spring. Aquarian, at their cost, have come in and paid and replaced the water line. This is the drainage line, and it's the same drainage line that is on the 1934 plans that our sewer line was on that we were having holes and problems and issues with. Many of these structures are old. They're the old um, brick and barrel mortar falling out. Uh, we have a hard time getting into and cleaning them. But I think the common sense factor has to come in. This is the last piece of the puzzle. This is the last utility that's in the road, and that's drainage. So when you're talking about this project, it is drainage. Uh, we did come through. When I first started here in 2015, we did High Street. We did a section, two lengths of pipe up High Street. We turned the corner onto Lafayette Road, came down into uh, the square, and went out to the outfall over there. That was 300 and change. Uh, and it was, as uh, Mr. Jones had said, uh, 200 and some odd feet of pipe. We are talking 1,600 linear feet. These numbers are not bloated. I'm, 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 as engineers, we don't bloat. <laughs> we calculate. Um, so, you're, so sitting there going, we're looking at 20 plus structures, catch basins, manholes. That's not including the linear feet just down the center line. Drainage tends to go to a central point. You have to collect both sides of the road because the road is crowned. So you're looking at structures on each side. And as everybody likes to remind me, the road out there is in really poor shape. Uh, this will include what we plan on doing is a total reclaim that's taking the underneath gravels with the gravels that are there, mixing them together, getting the compacted base, and repaving it as a new surface from Lafayette down to Winniconnet and uh, across Winniconnet where we've taken uh, the sewer main. If we're going to be in there doing the drainage and the paving, the curbing, if you were to walk that area, there are many areas where it's chunked out, it's missing, it's broken. We would be remiss to not if we're already there only to do half the project. Um, this is how we presented it. This is why the article is before you at the dollar value it is. It is the drainage. It is the roadway paving. It is the curbing. If you can think of the mid, we call it the mid block crosswalk uh, in and around 401 Lafayette Road, it goes to a curb that is not ADA accessible. We have ADA tripping hazards that have, we've been trying to, to manage up towards uh, the market and up towards the law office. Uh, there's areas in there that will all be replaced and made ADA accessible with this money as well. It will include the new line striping. And when we talk about ornamental lighting, which seems to be like the most negative buzzword <laughs> that's out there right now, what I mean is some street lighting, something that is not... Uh, one of the big high-pressure sodium lights on a utility pole because as a department, as a town, we're looking to actually go to LED lighting. We're looking to how can we save money and have our own lighting program and not be paying rent uh, to Unitil for their site lighting. Um, having more control of it allows us to be more energy efficient and allows us to have less bills. So the lighting that we're talking about Albeit it may be ornamental, meaning something on a pole, we have some ornamental lighting down at the beach with the big globes. It's of that type. It doesn't mean it's that fixture. It doesn't mean it's that pole. And we would need to obviously wire it underneath the ground before we pave it so that we could put up the lighting. And that's for that street lighting. That's what we're talking about. So when you look at the whole project, that's what we're looking to do. And I... I I feel bad that, I, that there may be some miscommunication, but that is the project as we've been presenting it all along. Questions? No, thank you very much for the explanation. <clears throat> First of all, I don't think there's any miscommunications on this board. 
That's what you've been talking about all along. There's no sense in paving that road this spring after we finish the thing, only to have to come back in a year or two and dig it all up to put the, sewer, the drainage under there because we know that it is going bad. It's been there since 1934. If we're going to do it, let's do it once, let's do it right, and that's always been the plan. Mr. Griffin. So how much money has been raised to do this project previously? So this is what we call the Roadway Capital Reserve Fund. No, I'm not talking oh, about that. not that what one. What other money besides that has been raised? We did the 1.1 for the sewer. <clears throat> so the sewer's already been paid for? Yes, so that's the 1.1 for last year. So I know earlier there was a number thrown out at $3 million, But what we've put here is the 1.1 and the three and change that was done uh, with federal money. Uh, with some federal money, excuse me, some federal money so up is, on the high end. There, is this more sewerage? This uh, is all drainage. We will have completed the sewer, so correct. We've done the sewer, yes. and it's been done with some federal funding. Sewer has been done with uh, appropriated money from last year's warrant. Yes. And then some drainage has been done based on appropriation and some federal money. And some federal money. And um, what about, uh, has any been, anything been spent on uh, doing the um, paving? We have. Or paved. raised in the past? As part of the previous last year's appropriation, yes. there's pavement patching money for the patches that would get put down if, yeah. as we're going along the so project. So if we don't, um, if this doesn't pass, they're not going to do the drainage? If this does not pass, there will be, they will not do the drainage, correct? And it will have to be done again in the future, and then the road will eventually have to be repaved. Right. Yeah. And uh, what is the approximate um, price of the so-called ornamental lighting? A fixture could be anywhere from $2,500 to $5,000. So what's the total cost? I think that's the problem. Of the component to, of the lighting? Of the lighting, yeah. I think that's what people need to know. I'm not saying I'm not in favor of it, but I think that this is what people don't understand. I think you're probably looking maybe $30,000 total for the conduit, <clears throat> conduit under the ground and the lighting. And... I mean, let's be very clear, when you get bids back and all the other things and you look at something, it would be the first part that goes because the drainage and the pavement and the sidewalk and the curbing is the most important part of this project. Mm -hmm. So there's roughly, it's a $30,000 amount of money that's being Give done. or take, yeah. Yeah, give or take a little bit of money. And it's going to save money by uh, the fact that the town's going to own that? That, yes, we would own those lights. And uh, so there'll be less money paid to Unitel in the future? Right, because right now I believe we have probably eight, if I were to guess, just in that stretch. I count the snowflakes, if you think about when we put the snowflakes up yeah. in the winter. It's those bigger lights that we'd be replacing with something that's more down on the street level, more sidewalk, more pointed down. So today, when those, when those things go and need uh, maintenance, Unitil pays it. We pay it. Unitil does it. So we, we call Unitil. We, we save the street lights out. We pay to maintain those uh, lights on a regular basis when they, something bad happens to them. Yep. We get a street light bill. Mm -hmm. And if a bulb were to be done, they charge us for the bulb. If they need to put a new reflective shield in it, they'd go pull and it from their yard. we pay the electric bill for them. We pay the electric bill. Okay, so uh, I think it's very clear that people understand this. I don't, I don't really see the fair. problem either. Thank you. Sabine. Thank you. Uh, I'm reading, or trying to read, Article 9 that is from the town website. Uh, it has been recommended by the Board of Selectmen uh, unanimously, five to nothing. It has been recommended by the Municipal Budget Committee by a 200% margin. The fiscal note, the fiscal impact from the Finance Department is there is no tax impact. I'd like to read the Warren article, and I haven't been confused about it. I've, I've been confused about some of the comments that are made, and I respect the people that do come in and make these comments because they're citizens and they're taxpayers and they're interested, and I think that's important, and I respect every single one of them that came in here. 
Shall the town of Hampton vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $1.5 million for the purpose of constructing a portion of Lafayette Road from High Street to Winnicott Road and then from Winnicott Road to Toll Avenue to include street repairs and reconstruction and associated materials and labor necessary to do the work and also to include associated drainage, system maintenance and replacement, replacement of sidewalks, the installation of ornamental street lighting, granite curbing, and other roadway infrastructure needed to complete the work. So that is the Warren article. I am not confused by it. I'm, I'm glad that it was raised. It, again, it has been unanimous, Mr. Chairman. Uh, it is a 200% margin on the budget committee. <clears throat> uh, it is a construction project. And I will say that uh, as uh, uh, concerned taxpayers and citizens are, a million uh, five is a lot of money. But I will also say that the uh, degradation and the abuse that these infrastructure items have been allowed to deteriorate to is a public safety hazard, is an operational risk to taxpayers that perform uh, routine uh, commercial and residential operations, and that uh, it's time that uh, we, we started to do those things. And again, it is a, a construction job. It is a, uh, um, an engineering project. And uh, uh, perhaps going backwards, the ornamental lighting, we could have gone a little bit easy on the ornamental part uh, <laughs> and just put lighting, and uh, that would have uh, not, uh, not uh, raised so much concern. But I respect the people that raised this issue, Mr. Chairman. I am satisfied that, uh, as Mr. Bridal is, uh, that there is no confusion on the board uh, by the uh, great plurality of the Budget Committee. And uh, we, again, uh, tonight, I am sure, uh, reaffirm our majority and unanimous support for Warrant Article 9. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and thank you, Jennifer. Thank you. I have a question. We did the, the water was done. Yes. The sewer was done. If you didn't do the drainage, how much would they, mm. and you put the road back together, what would the degradation, degradation, <laughs> It's easier to say, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> say that three times fast. Basically, it could, it's of, the, of the sort of it be with, with the drainage not working It's potential properly. failure and then digging up a road that you've just paved. All right. It is, we have some outlets that have scour and erosion. We have some of the piping that as it falls more apart, you get more water not going through the drainage system but popping up in places that you didn't really want it to show up. It can remove fills and selects out of your roadway. Um, that's what causes sinkholes in the long run. Not saying that that's going to happen. I'm just saying that's what happens when your drainage isn't properly taken care of. It could be one pipe failure or it could be 15 different sections, but it's old pipe. And this pipe's been there since 1934. Our plans are saying 1934 is the last plan that we have that shows the sewer and the drain on it. I think you've done a great job of explaining it, and I think people, the voters, have to make up their mind what they want to do and what they want to vote for, but I think it's, 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 it's clear what it is and why it is. So thank you for coming in tonight. Thank you uh, for all the work you do.